Um, hello everyone, this is your girl Leanna. It is May the 5th, um, 2013. It's Sunday and um, I made this video to talk about, you know, how, what, what my next step is going to be in terms of handling my situation of not being able to obtain my hormones. Um, well, I'm, you know, I'm staying calm. I, you know, I am scared, very scared of, you know, I feel like I've gotten far. I'm not going to say, you know, I turn into like J-Lo, you know, um, but two months and almost three weeks is far. And I feel like that's going to, you know, it's going to be a waste of time, money and effort and a lot of depriving myself of the good things in life. Um, I gave up alcohol because, you know, well, I don't drink like at home, I don't, I don't, like, go to the kitchen, grab, like, all my dad's alcohol or anything, um, I'm talking about recreationally, like, when I go out with friends and socially, um, you know, they're like, hey, have yourself a shot or a drink, and I miss out on that because I feel like that's gonna affect my hormones, I have to stop and say, hey, you know what, I can't, um, I am on therapy, I am on hormone HRT, I am taking hormones, and I cannot because I would, you know, the effects would not be good. And so, you know, I pride my, deprive myself of all these things. And at the end of the hour, you know, at the end of the day, I am going to be turning back into, or I feel like things are going to, you know, reverse. And I'm going to start becoming manly again. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really far, but I'm far enough to feel like it's something that's a part of me now that I, you know, that I always wanted. Like I said in my first, you know, the first day that I've taken that, um, that pill. I feel like I'm born again, like, this is my other chance in life where I'm me, I am actually me, and if that's taken away, I'm gonna go into a depression, like, I don't know, I think I'm gonna go through a, like, really deep depression, um, well, so I told, I told you guys, um, yesterday in my last video, that I was gonna, um, switch and switch to injections, um, I'm, this, I'm thinking about the, um, the Praganon Depot Acid Oil, and that's something that I'm really good. I'm gonna order it tomorrow for sure. I'm gonna first thing in the morning. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my car to the shop to get fixed, and then I'm gonna go to Walmart, and then from there, I'm gonna go to my bank, deposit the freaking money, and then order that. Um, let me see. Besides that, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be like a bump for me because I think it's going to be in the back of my like mind knowing that, you know, I've been so far, but then I had that little two week period where, you know, no hormones were induced in my body. I apologize. I'm talking really low. I have a sore throat. Um, I didn't get home till 5 a.m. this morning. It's, I was at a party, well, at a bar last night with some friends. Uh, it was actually a transsexual bar here in my area or a gay bar, more, more gay people go there than trans, um, and, you know, I got home really late, but anyways, so that's how I'm going to handle the situation, now, I'm going to have them ship it to my school, since I arrived there in seven days, and I'm going to have them sit, um, sh sh ship my order to school, um, so when I get there, I'm going to take my first injection, and I think those are going to work more efficiently and effectively in terms of results and, um, you know, physical results and mental results. Just because I know that, you know, I'm going to have that in there. It's going to be directly to my bloodstream. So, yeah, I'm going to take care of that. And I'm also going to look for endocrinologists down in that area. With that being said, um, we do have a physician on campus, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to check and see if, you know, he can check my levels for me. Other than that, you know, I'm just going to keep doing me, keep doing what I do. And, oh yeah, so a little about last night, I went out to a bar, to that bar, and that's, you know, I go there very often, um, same old, same old. And I just came out there also as trans. When I came out to you guys, I came out there. Like, I've been doing drag for a while, but never, you know, I don't think I look this feminine as I do now. Like, I feel like now I'm more of a natural woman. I can just put on a little makeup or, like, a little eyeliner and go. 
eyeliner and like lip gloss. And you know, back then I had a kick on all this makeup because my beard was so thick. Um, you know, my face wasn't feminine enough, so I have to contour and highlight a lot. I still like to highlight, just because it gives me that, um, Kim Kardashian look. But, <laughs> I'm gonna actually make a slideshow for you guys. I've been taking some really good pictures, and I feel like I'm more and more passable every time. Um, I did my eyebrows, as I promised you guys. And there's always one eyebrow that freaking does not come out the same. This is left one. Well, my left, and it's probably your right, but it's this left one. And so, sadly, I didn't get any play last night. No guys walked up to me. None. Um, my friend was she likes to she's actually more of a um, a CD or cross dresser, and she likes to you know she's not an actual trans, and she does it on the low. Like she would not leave her house. We leave really late at night, and she runs to the car and makes me close every door, everything behind her, just so her neighbors won't see her. Um, and, you know, she's really down low about it. But, um, you know, she likes to show her cleavage and dress really slutty. And me, I like to wear pants and a t-shirt, you know. <laughs> um, but I actually, when I go out, I actually do wear my little mini dresses. And I'm going to take, I'm going to make a slideshow sometime in the future. Um showing you guys that now also I, what i wanted to say, but i didn't get no play last night and then all my friends had guys these old rich <laughs> all the old rich i'm um, like you know executives coming up to them and you know cute guys and i had i was just there mingling and you know talking and socializing but that's about it nothing you know over that um my voice is so <laughs> um so besides that i'm kind of nervous i'm also still scared about, you know, dressing as female. Besides, like, my style, I like wearing freaking um, t-shirts, as you guys may notice. When I'm at home, I like wearing t-shirts um, and shorts, flip-flops. That's it. The less clothes, the better. <laughs> um, but, you know, being trans and being wanting to be more accepted or being one, being, wanting to be seen as, you know, what I am. I feel like it's going to take a little, you know, more effort on my behalf. Like, I'm going to have to start wearing more girly clothes, applying more makeup daily for school. Like, right now, I have no makeup on. I just got the freaking shower. My skin feels so soft. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, yeah, like, I'm going to be scared. Like, I'm freaking 6'3", and I'm big. I'm wide. I think it's going to be kind of awkward for me. I feel like I'm going to feel like one of those girls that is on TV, one of those tall trans girls that is, like, the eye of the whole college. Just because I'm 6'3", and, you know, walking around with a mini skirt. <laughs> I don't want to be taken as that. I'm, that's what I'm really fearful of. But I, <sighs> this is something I got to do. So this is just a little, you know, talking about, you know, what I'm going to, how I'm going to handle my hormone situation things that happened, and what I expect. Now, I'm going to make three more, about three or four more videos, probably more, um, or probably less, by this end of this week. Um, this is my last week here at home, and I'm getting everything ready, doing a lot. So I'm going to be doing a lot, um, and doing a lot of, I'm going to do my updates. Try to do them on Wednesday or Tuesday. My Markly week is on Wednesday, so. Um, with that being said, I'm going to try to do it on Wednesday, Max. And <clears throat> we're going to see. So I'll see everyone later. And stay tuned. Take care. I'm going to get this situated ASAP. Tomorrow I'm going to run to that freaking bank, deposit that money, order those injections, and get it over with. All right, everyone. Bye.